like I said, I'm recording this right after, so don't judge me for looking exactly the same as the last video. Anyways, welcome back, you guys. My name is Gary, and today, let's talk about Let's Go. Um, so, I cannot show you the case, nor can I show you the actual cute box, because I'm using it to hold up my phone to record this video. But, I'm... <laughs> But I have, I, mean, I have the Pokeball Plus that came in the bundle. I got the bundle for 80 bucks off of Best Buy because my brother still has the um, last little bit of the Gamers Club. Um, so here's the Pokeball. Very cute. Worth $40. I don't know. I mean, it's everything that it does, yes. But do you need it? We'll get into that. Oh, this is exciting. This is my first like video game kind of review that I kind of want to start doing on this channel. Talking about Nintendo games because that's what I love. That's who I want to work for. And a good way to do that is to start talking about their games, good or bad. Now, Pokemon Let's Go, I was very conflicted. Like many people, I had my reservations. As soon as I saw the Let's Go attached to the Pokemon title, I was immediately turned off. Um, I played Let's I played Pokemon Go when it first came out. Played it for about six-ish months, and then I stopped. Um, hadn't played it until they announced this game. Then I was like, let me pick up Pokemon Let's Go again. Uh, sorry, not Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon Go. My brother had just started playing it again and they had already added all the raids, they had added all the trading, they added the PvP just got added so it wasn't that. The X raids, they added the gym battles, because all that wasn't really there when I started playing Pokemon Go back in 2016, 15, whatever it was. So anyways, I was immediately turned off. I was really worried. Uh, I seen the art style. I seen that they took away wild battles. I seen that it was the le the go mechanic of just throwing balls. And I was turned off and I said, I'm going to get the game regardless because I am a Pokemon fan through and through. I've played every single Pokemon game that there is. Um, haven't passed them all. Gotta pass Ultra Moon. Haven't done that yet. I have it. I just haven't passed it. But... <laughs> I was worried, um, but it was Pokemon, I couldn't go wrong, so I got it. So cut to November 16th, I got it day one. And you guys, I will, I don't know yet if I want to show um, gameplay and like clips and stuff, but the intro of Pikachu coming out onto the screen literally almost made me cry immediately. I am a big sucker for that kind of cutesy, that kind of nostalgia like yellow was not my first game at all my first game i believe was pokemon red but i didn't play red too much i wasn't into it um pokemon diamond came out and that's when i took the dive and spiraled down into the pokemon world and platinum to this day is my favorite pokemon game don't at me and Sinnoh is my favorite region that's what i really grew up on that's what i've grown the most attached to but I have gone back and I've played yellow, blue, red, crystal, gold, silver. I've played everything. I've played all the games, like I said. Um, Leaf Green, I played three times to get all the legendaries into my DS games. Uh, I played like the entire game to get all three different legendary dogs into my diamond game because I was just that addicted to Pokemon. Um, so I was pretty familiar with Kanto, and I'm gonna just go ahead and say it right now. I really, really enjoyed the game, like a lot, way more than I thought I was going to, which is good. Um, Pokemon Let's Go, like I said, I had my reservations, but like I said, I'm a sucker for the cutesy stuff. And so like Pikachu was on the screen and I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. You, the first encounter with Pikachu when you go and like you find it in the wild when you gotta go save Oak. Well, not, I guess you don't save him in this one. He's like observing the Pidgeys or whatever. And Pikachu runs and it's the first time you throw the mechanic and just the throwing. Oh my God. Okay. Honestly, I was like, I seen the stuff and I was like, that is kind of stupid. Like I'd rather just play handheld, press the A button. But the first time that I did the little throw thing, I was taken aback. And I was like, this... Nintendo wasn't wrong. <laughs> this is what I wanted. This is what I've wanted since I was a kid. Um, and I have always, like, you know, pretended to throw the Pokeball when I'm playing my game. Even now, I'm like 23, and I still, I had 
so much fun having this Pokeball and throwing it and seeing it go from here to the screen and going to catch the Pokemon. Um, so let's just cut to what I found fun about the game. Um, this definitely helped a lot. Um, it was a little annoying with the two buttons. You definitely have more options with the Joy-Con. I know there's mixed reviews out there right now on whether the Pokeball is better, whether the Joy-Con is better. I think this is way better. I always had more accuracy with this thing. I always had, I missed so much of the Joy-Con, it was terrible. Um, I played most of the entire game like this and in handheld. And handheld was definitely the easiest one to get a hang of because you can use gyro to really look at the Pokemon. So late game, it was way better just to play handheld. Um, but I just, I played the entire thing with this and I enjoyed it and I loved it. Is it worth the 40 bucks? I mean, it is all the technology that's in it. I used it for the Let's Go. I took my Dragonite, my Needle King. I took all my Pokemon out with me for a while. My friends were getting really annoyed hearing the little cries coming out from the Pokeball every five minutes. But um, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I... All the technology in here is definitely worth the 40 bucks. Do you need it? I don't think so. I'm a sucker for it, so it worked for me. If you're not really a sucker for the novelty, if you're not a sucker for all the cute like you just want to play a Pokemon game, just play it with a Joy-Con. You'll get used to it. It'll, you know, you'll probably get the accuracy pretty well with it. You'll be good to go. Um, now, the game itself, I love seeing wild Pokemon in the wild. Like, at first I was like, well, that takes off, like, the excitement, like, the random part of Pokemon, not knowing what you're going to find. I love it. I hope they keep it. In generation 9 when that comes out I really hope they keep it in the 2019 title I do want them to bring back battles I was not the biggest fan of the go mechanic um it's fun like it's not the worst thing ever getting the catch combos was really cool I did it I caught me a shiny Seedra but it does get kind of like it's just kind of like well okay I can't say that because it's the same thing like when you get to wild battles you're just like a a a a a a this was the exact same thing after a while you're just like oh my god I need you to either run or get caught, one of the two, like, I'm, I'm over it. But it just, I don't know, I'm conflicted. I would rather have the wild battles back. But like I said, I really do hope they keep the wild Pokemon in the overworld. It just, it, it was something I definitely didn't think I needed. When I seen that, I was kind of like, oh, but playing through all of Go, oh my god, it was just so cool to see, like, Abra pop in and out, like, out of nowhere, just teleporting, because that's what he does seeing Growlithe just start running from the grass, seeing a giant ass Ponita, uh, not Ponita, sorry. Seeing a giant Rapidash just come out of the, just pop out of the grass was like kind of funny and also just crazy. And I just, I really enjoyed that mechanic. And I, God, I really hope they keep it. It looked so good. Um, shared experience, you know, the game is easy. Yeah, so, so what? All the Pokemon games are easy. Like they haven't been hard for a good while now. Um, which I hope they kind of increase, but at the same time for me, I mean, I'm enjoying the game. I'm playing it. I'm looking at all the new Pokemon. In this case, I'm looking at the upgraded graphics, the, the new parts of the story, because they added blues in the story, and, and I haven't even finished it. Like, I kind of stopped playing already, but I haven't done all the secret things that I know you can do afterwards. Um, I caught Mewtwo, and that was about it. Um, I still got to do two trainers. I haven't gone back to redo the Elite Four. I haven't completed the Pokedex. I haven't gotten the Shiny Charm. Um, am I going to go back and do it? Maybe once my brother gets it and we'll help each other complete the Pokedex. But as of right now, I'm kind of burnt out. Um, I played 40 hours of it. I'm, I'm good to go, I think. But I just, I am thoroughly surprised at how much I enjoy Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Um, which is what I got. I don't know if I've already made that clear or not. I got Pikachu, not Eevee. Um, and I'm happy that I enjoyed it. I'm happy that it was now the fastest selling whatever record it broke of being like the fastest selling pokemon game or whatever um and i hope it continues to do well i it wasn't bad um a lot of people are gonna say it's bad i know i remember seeing so many videos saying i'm not gonna play it it's has to do with go that's trash and i i was the same way i really was i said pokemon go i don't i i already wrote off the game i said i don't want to play it i i don't um but it it was a good time for me. I had fun having Pikachu on your arm and petting it. Like I said, I'm a sucker for all that. The Pokemon following you, God, please just keep, make that a staple. Why are you taking that out of Pokemon games? 
Um, get, they still got rid of the HM moves. I hope they never go back to HM moves. That was really annoying. Um, I overall, I just I really enjoyed the game. I had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Would I recommend it to people? Most definitely. Even if you were written off like I was, try it. It's a Pokemon game through and through, regardless. Yeah, they changed it up a little bit. It's a Pokemon game, bro. If you really love Pokemon, play it. You're not going to hate it. You may, maybe you will hate it. I don't know. I think you'll be fine. But, if you, I mean, if you hate it, you hate it. I get it. I understand why. The catching mechanic got really annoying after a while. Um... But that's really it. Um, I have not that much else to say. You've already heard it in other people's reviews. Uh, this is somewhat of a review. I'm just kind of wanting to talk about it because I love it so much. Like I said, I don't know if I'll be showing some gameplay of stuff. If I do, be prepared because it will be crappy me holding my phone and playing and recording my TV because I don't have a capture card because I'm not a YouTuber. So, um... But I had such a great time with Pokemon Let's Go. I was very surprised, which is something I think a Pokemon game hasn't done for me in a good while, is to keep me surprised. Um, Sun and Moon, yeah. Oh, yeah, whoa, Trials, no more gems. I'm shook. Eh, you know, this was definitely, went back to the formula, you're doing the gym battles. Um, at, really quick, though, there was so many, got, there were so many trainer battles. After a while, I was kind of like, why there's so many trainer battles? But... I get it. It's just, I don't know, it was weird. It was weird. I felt like there was an over, like, more than usual. It was kind of weird. But it was a good time. The new cutscenes were gorgeous. They were so good. I Rag on the graphics all you want. Yeah, it's just the updated, like, Sun and Moon engine, whatever, blah, 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 blah. It looks gorgeous, in my opinion. And that's what this is, is my opinion. You have your opinion. You're good to go, bro. Um, let me know your opinion if you want to. Leave it in the comments. I'll be reading it. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, that's really it. I don't want to make this video too, too long. Like I said, you've seen all the reviews. I'm just another regular, regular person uploading their thoughts on Pokemon Let's Go. But I really wanted to talk about this game first because it surprised me. And I want that to be out there. That It, it, it really surprised me and, and I'm really glad I enjoyed it. I hope you've gotten it. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't gotten it yet, I say give it a shot. Ooh, really quick. Multiplayer, don't do it. That's why I didn't talk about it. Just don't do it. It's, it's pointless. Anyways, um, so that's... <laughs> that's all I have to talk about. Pokemon Let's Go. I hope this video wasn't too long or too short. And um, I'll be back to talk about another game. I really want to talk about Celeste and Enter the Gungeon and Breath of the Wild and all these games I have and uh, Diablo. And hopefully I keep this consistent. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Alright, bye.